We're here with the cast of Flash at San Diego Comic Con, and already you guys are talking about your maroon Flash yes. colors. Was that mm -hmm. intentional? Uh, mine was, yes. Yeah, this was totally intentional. These these here jeans, they're actually some of my favorite pairs of jeans. Yeah, I was saying this was an intentional pur purchase, but didn't mean to. I wore a flash bracelet. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Did you guys get to go on the floor and check with the new flash costume at all? No. no not yet. No, I haven't seen it. I, the first time I saw it was pictures on Twitter. I was yeah, like, oh, I mean, spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah. You also, too? Can we, can I wore it once a couple yeah. months ago. But that was it. Yeah. Also, can we even walk the floor? I mean, I would love to. No, I, I think we didn't need like a Walter White mask. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the end of the season was probably the first series about comic books that to really embrace what is great about comic books. Uh, what do you hope happens in the next season as far as that aspect? What would you like to see that never happens on TV but only happens in comic books? I think part of the appeal of our show is that they come up with stuff that they never even thought was possible, you know what I mean? And so it ends up being a sort of surprise. So, you know, if I, I think every time I read the script and I see a new villain and their powers, mm -hmm. I always think, how are they going to manifest yeah. that yeah. on but TV? But it's all stuff that's like in some way, shape, or form from the comics, and that's why, like, wh that's what's so cool about this show. Anything from the comics can and will show up in a script, and mm -hmm. there's already stuff show that shows up in, in the first two episodes yeah. of season two that's in some ways I think more of an exciting comic book reveal than anything in the first season. I think. I and agree. And I, I think that's why our show does so well, and Andrew said this so many times, we don't save ideas. So if there's a great idea, Andrew's like, let's put it yeah. in the script, we'll think of a better idea next episode well, or next there's, season. There's no reason to save ideas with this character because there's uh, unlimited possibilities for where to go with the story. Line. Exactly. I think that's really true. I mean, the gorilla, reverse yeah. flash, time travel. Yeah. I mean, All of it. Is, I, that's why I'm like, what's next? Because it, it's like so... It's, everything it's is just, next. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just the tip of the iceberg. And when you read the comics, which I do every once in a while, you, you, like Grant was saying, there is just so much to pull from. So we have endless yeah. source material for seasons to come, hopefully, if we were on the air that long. Mm -hmm. I have to say my also favorite part of the flash is how... Um, it lightened the arrow a little, the back and forth. Yeah. Are we gonna see more little needling of the arrow cast and little back Is there and forth? they're needling? Uh. I hope so. I hope we get to do more crossovers. It's so fun and it's yeah. so exciting to have Legends of Tomorrow as well. So uh, keep keep your fingers crossed. I certainly yeah. do. But you'll definitely see the shows affecting each other. I mean, mm -hmm. I think you even see some darkness coming into Flash via mm -hmm. Arrow, I think. Maybe if it's just through Barry at times with the way he's, he's kind of, his heroes, he's a much different hero than he was at the beginning of season one, yeah. for yeah. sure. And I think that was influenced by Oliver some, in some way. Yeah. Absolutely. And the internet's blowing up because Jeff Johns just said that Garrick's going to join you guys. He did? About that? So that's yeah. out now? Well, yeah, oh, it's out now. Oh, okay, it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. Great. Well, we didn't do that, so. <laughs> Garrick, Have you guys trouble. shot already? Or? No, Garrick shows up. I haven't up. met him. We're shows so up very funny. early. Yes. And, and very you, early and is all we saw, should say, probably. Very early is all we'll say. <laughs> but we saw his, his infamous yes. helmet yeah. um, mm -hmm. in the finale of season one. I got in trouble for talking about that. Andrew Kreisberg was like, don't say his name ever again. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the helmet does the work. That's what I said. I was like, you <laughs> put like... it in the finale. It's yeah. not my fault. And, and then one of them did say that they, that wasn't random. It, that w That is for a very specific reason, and the audience will find out why shortly. Our yes. shows are really packed full. I mean, they cut 25 minutes out of our season finale, so everything that was left in there yeah. is intentional. Yeah. I think it also goes to show with the whole we don't waste good ideas. Like, yeah. nothing, yes. nothing really is like an Easter egg Easter egg. Like, you guys do it. Yeah, yes. yeah totally. <laughs> Totally. Is there anything that you guys have hinted at or touched at that you kind of would like to do more of, time travel or anything like that? Um, I mean, I, I can. I, well, yeah, I was gonna say vibe actually. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I mean that, that would be lot, really exciting yeah. to see for sure. Yeah, that'd be fun for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Of and course. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank and you. I hope you guys have a really great Comic Con. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Me too.